Okay, Derek and I are gonna do the basic who bad, lou bad drill or the who bad drill with the one side. So he comes at me on the attack, I need to be in range. If I'm back here, this is where he wants to attack me. Or if I block it, I might break my arm. So I gotta figure out how to get the range but still have to block that, but still not have it so high so it takes me a long time to get it under. So I kinda have that medium ground. If I still am changing my range and I start here as he comes in, I might adjust my stick to the middle so I can work in this range better. So if he comes at me and punch, I have a block here, I have a strike here, and it's easy for me to parry under versus if I have the grip way down here, it takes a long time to go way under here. Plus the force here may not be enough because he has a lot of power going there. If I have center grip, I have a lot more resistance against his counter if he decides to throw a hook in. So that's the first thing I want you to work on. So, this is not what I want you to do. He comes in, I want you to step in. If my hand's low, I gotta make sure I can bring it up to block here or just kind of change my grip to here. And then I still gotta be able to use my elbow to deflect it, still come over here and spin it. So after a while, you get used to the who bad drill or who bad lou bad drill or who bad lou bad, however you wanna pronounce it. But now he's gonna go with the force. If he feels my energy, it's easier for him to spin around and either side fist me, back fist me, or elbow fist me, right? Depends on his range. If he's close, it's the elbow. If he's mid, it's the forearm. If he's far, it's either the side fist or the back fist, okay? So you're gonna practice that multiple times on each of these drills. I'm just breaking down the steps. But then I'm gonna block that on the next drill. So he comes at me. Again, if I'm far, don't do this. Come in, that's drill one. If my hand's down and stays down, he punches me, that's not good either. If the stick's up here and he punches through, it may not be strong enough. So if I hold, if I go up with the middle grip, this tends to be a lot stronger. Plus it's less stick uh, clearance for me to come under. I lift my elbow up and over. This helps out because if I leave it there, I gotta go way down, way up. If I elbow it, his elbow gets an easier clearance. Okay, so practice that too. He spins around, but this time my hand's already there. So all I did is go back a step here. What I don't do on this drill is I don't push it down because by the time he spins around, it's too late, right? So as I pin him, right, we block carry pin, I pin him here and I slide it across his shoulder and I'm ready for it, right? Or I have it here, or I have it here, or he back fists, right? Or forearm fists and I'm in range. So. Now, the next drill is we work the counter off that. He comes at me, movement one. Again, I gotta worry about that. He punches, there's the block if I need it. I lift the elbow up to get the clearance to push it. I blocked it. Now I have the, now he has the energy to come back at me and counter. So what Derek's doing in this drill is he fills that pin he just goes with the energy and goes with the energy and goes with the energy. This might be a slash, might be a stab, might be a hook punch, but he's just going with my pin. I pinned his elbow and he's just gonna keep coming around. So, and then we practice the same thing on both directions. So, right side and left side, right now we're just demonstrating on one side, but I want you to practice not just holding it here, but kind of going to that middle grip, because then you got stronger defense on both sides of that center point. So he has the middle grip, He's gonna block, he's gonna parry, right? He's gonna pin, I feel the energy, I'm here. If he blocks it, no problem, I have that strike. If we switch sides, he has center grip, right? I'm gonna throw the punch this time, he blocks, stay there, it's already up. He feels that, or if I go for the rib, because if it, if it sticks here, and even if I do it here where he has a lot of strength, and I don't do it here where it folds in, he stays there, but what if I decide to go low line, right? It's not, it's to no avail, but if he has center grip, he has strength in the resistance right there. If I go for his ribs, no, just keep the hand there, because there's the face, there's the ribs. He doesn't have to do a whole lot to block it in that center grip position. Go to the switch hand, oh, I'll, I'll do it here. You throw the punch, that's a high punch, now go for a rib cage punch. I really don't have to do a whole lot, right? I don't have to do a whole lot of adjustments. Versus if I had it here, he goes for the top one, I might be okay. He goes for the bottom one, I don't have enough clearance in the defense there, okay? Let's do a couple on the left side real quick. So keep the center grip. I come at these blocks. If I throw a punch, he has a block here. He parries and steps. He pushes, he blocks, I return, 
Okay. All attack this time. He blocks, he parries, he pins again. Same drill, or here, or here, or here. Doesn't matter. Okay. She attacks. I'll go middle grip. There's the block I don't want. This is a block that might be okay. This is a block I really want. If I don't get under there, I have it here. He throws a punch high, he throws a punch lower. I have a, a, a small adjustments to block, okay? Plus you have this, plus you have that, okay? But I blocked it, I need to come over here and parry. I pin and pushes him for his spinning back fist or spinning elbow or spinning forearm, and he collapses in the rib cage. So this is a tip for cat. Practice both uh, defense and offense on both those, but break it down off of that block parry pin.